Be my eyes, Sunan. Stretch your wings, Sunan. about this land, my friend. be seen in this area. to report. Yeah. <laughs> 
must be near. His doom must come.
Ah, go out! Damn you! Once was, shall be, again. What does that 
gibberish mean? I crossed the broad sea for you, Gorham. Are you not flattered? One reason only, I see. You snake. One reason only. This is not the whole of 500 doors. This is not the Rock of the Fallen. Where are the women on the winged horses? Where are the choosers of the slain? My blood enemy! This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, crow of battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the Order to this place? To free a goddess. A creature of power and light. Buried by the Jotna in ages past. A pity, Gorham. You will not meet her now. Much to explore here. Who loves you know his tormentor is dead. I owe him. Holding owns you! Probabilities lead us here. This... This is not for me. I should return to Olaf. He deserves to know what happened here. <laughs>
No need to hide now. Gorp? Dead? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories in a... Story time. Yes! Yes! They t... Zokki. Rarondunde. Wase ni tsarunki. Yotzi tzizu. Zokki. Otundaya wasi. Niat dega. Gods rahnaraga. I do not understand. Ah. You want me to tell a story? All right. A story of betrayal. Of selfish malice. Of all our many gods. It is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all in days, believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Baldur. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did, but one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Baldur. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Baldur was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea Buried in Midgard, amid what Odin did not know, is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the path that we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers, that we should fight against this view. <laughs> brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yes, gods. Gwa, ras nu sage wap nit dahre. Dagwa weird it, gaw? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. Aya wapski. Quite a number, you. <laughs> it was sad. We are wait. Say over the waves. We say, cut it. Yorav Yorvik, you shirked your work for quite some time. You got I all songs are not. I, I do not disagree. God, brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well. Yes. Oh, so well. As you wish, brother. And you, 
Eivor, where will you go? I will take care of yourself, Olaf. Goodbye. Far winds the fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now I walk the sea. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. <laughs>